Paul again from EMD. Just want to show you this is part two of the video of the actual selector. Selector, sorry. So now I'm here. This is a new selector we got. Much closer. So now we got second. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth. And then reverse. I'm gonna do some final adjustment later, but we're gonna show you that the actual car is moving. Okay, let's tie it up. Oil pressure is good. I've got a battery light there. That battery light, I'm gonna do an alternator later. Alternator is not charging, it's the last thing I'll do, but let's just have a look at these gears. The gears are working, gearbox or gearbox is done properly, the rebuild was done properly, so we're just checking everything. So from now on we're going to actually uh, put everything back together. The final adjustment will be done later for this. That will be to the final adjustment. We'll just done a quick adjustment to see if the car is moving forward and back because the gearbox wasn't working when the car was towed here to us. So that's done. So I've got to get an alternator tomorrow. An alternator tomorrow so we can actually change the alternator. Uh, new battery, this one's too old, and then we'll go from there. Okay, the actually brakes are all done, if you can see inside there. So the brakes feels really tight compared to the other one, feels loose. Usually on the old 911, it's really hard to actually brake, because the brakes are not that big compared to the new cars, but for when the 1970s it was good, but for now, Time have changed and then actually uh, we've got better systems so we that's why we put bigger brakes on, on this car much much better okay thanks for watching and please subscribe